Welcome back. You're still with us on Startup Street. French eyewear startup Le Petit Lunitaire bets big on the Indian market. Partners with Lenskart to woo the fashion-forward Indian buyer. My colleague Aishwarya Anand catches up with Le Petit Lunitaire's co-founder Jeremy Enqua to understand what unique proposition they're trying to bring to the table. Take a look. Jeremy, tell me what brings Le Petit Lunitaire to India? Hey, very happy uh, to meet you and be there for the launch of the brand in uh, India. So we're here actually, you know, to... Um, uh, help Lenskart get the premium and luxury offering to their customers while also bringing uh, the best value available on the market. Okay, so you came to India in an exclusive partnership with Lenskart. How will you use Lenskart to propel your growth in the Indian market? We're bringing the same product, we're bringing the same designs, but at the same time we need, we need also to position it correctly for the Indian market. So this is what Lenskart is actually helping us to do, is not just launching a brand, but localizing a brand and making sure it's going to be serving, you know, the, the Indian customer that we want to target. So how many Lenskart stores are you currently present in and what does the expansion look like? So right now I think we're in around 40 uh, uh, stores that are serving as, you know, pilot for uh, the Lenskart uh, company. Uh, so far it's going quite well, so our goal is to reach and expand it to all the stores that Lenskart have, both in India and also international markets. So going forward, would we see a separate store of Le Petit uh, Lunitaire as well? I think it's hard to say, it's maybe too early to, to say, just maybe more, more place in the, mm. uh, uh, in the existing store. So, but you need you know, to prove, you, know, you need to prove that it's working. So yeah. this, that's just the very beginning. We're very happy and excited about it, but that's just the first drop. And Rome wasn't built in the day, so the Indian market is quite big. So I think Correct. there will be opportunities for everything. The market is so huge that if we want to do it, we can do it. Are you playing in the premium range or are you in the affordable category? So we consider ourselves as, you know, an affordable luxury brand. So actually what does this mean? It means that uh, we're bringing a lot of value. As mm. I was explaining in the design, we do it internally. We research colors, you know, for uh, months. Sometimes we will do samples. Um, and at the same time, we want to provide the best value to the customer. So this is the best of both worlds, and we call it the affordable luxury uh, uh, segment. In terms of manufacturing, will that be happening in India? Do you plan on opening a unit of your own to start in-house manufacturing here? Or uh, would you be sourcing it from France? To answer your question, we're already partnering uh, with uh, Lenskart, uh, helping us you know, do the sourcing exactly. and the, the production. So right now it's not in India, but um, uh, I think that's a step, a next step that, uh, that we want to do. So this official launch has come after Nesso Brands, which is a Lenskart entity, uh, infused $4 million into your brand. Exactly. So I want to understand how did you use the capital? Uh, we're still a small company when Lenskart is, is already a big company and they are really helping us, you know, uh, have the best IT system connecting to their WMS or creating an ERP. This costs a lot of money and you need to recruit people to do it. Yeah. And then the last part is also you need money to open store. You know, the capex are quite, uh, this is a, a, an industry that is uh, quite capex intensive. The plan with Lenskart is actually to open a lot of stores, mm. uh, both, I mean, first in France, but also a lot in Europe. The idea is that to help us, you know, set goals, set profitability at a certain level that we want to achieve. And then we will be, you know, raising more money like debt to develop uh, and open new stores. You've been operating since 2015. So uh, how has the business been faring? With the India market now coming into the picture, what are the expectations that you're setting from this market? We have 18 stores operating in an e-com company. So you can figure out by yourself, maybe you know how much you know, we're like waiting. What I can tell you is that um, uh, opening the Indian market is actually not a step forward, but maybe 10 steps forward for us. So we truly believe and imagine that we, you know, we might be bigger in India in a year or two than what we are doing in, in the local market in France. Okay, so currently your core market is France, correct? Exactly. So which other countries are you present in and uh, what does the expansion look like there? So for us, our core market, as you explained, is France and also we have the surrounding countries. Mm. So you would be targeting Switzerland, uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, because these are countries that have a huge, you know, uh, French-speaking uh, audience. This is our core market for now. And the expansion plan is, you know, is actually to go a bit deeper into these markets and also go much deeper into the European market, you know, as a whole. Give us some key trends that you've noticed in the Indian market, in the Indian eyewear market, and what is the unique proposition that you're bringing to the table? 
you know, we did our first trip uh, to India uh, 18 months ago, mm -hmm. and actually we visited a lot of stores. Mm -hmm. And actually what was quite, you know, striking for us is that you either have like a very premium, very luxury yeah. offer that is extremely expensive, or you will have like more, you know, more, like more traditional opticians. So I think this is what we want to cater to the, to the Indian customer is that something which is both, both um, a luxury brand, but also that makes sense in terms of, uh, of uh, value. First of all, the, you know, now we believe that the consumer is global. Mm. Uh, everyone is, follow, is on the same platform, you know, social media. Uh, Instagram actually is leading the taste of the world. So what is fashionable in Delhi is also fashionable in New York and can be fashionable in Paris and Milan. And there is actually a, a real truth about it. And we believe, of course, our core target is, is mostly, you know, young people around 20 to 35 years old. Mm. Because this is how we work our imagery. This is, uh, you know, the people that we work with, the image that we produce are actually reflecting like a your urban lifestyle. We want to help you be yourself. We want to help you express yourself in terms of, of fashion.